Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back. Uh, um, my name is Chuko Fili, and this is part three in the series setting up a production grade community server on Digital Ocean for sixty-five dollars. Uh, the previous video, what we did was configured persistent volume support backed by Digital Ocean storage. Uh, and today, what we're going to be looking at is how we're going to set up our Kubernetes dashboard with all the reporting and set it up a service account that can access it. Now, first of all, setting up Kubernetes dashboard is very trivial. You can always just go to the Kubernetes website. Um, actually, the repository for Kubernetes on GitHub, and then go straight to the dashboard section. So too long didn't read. This is what we're trying to achieve. Um, we're just going to grab that piece of code so that we can apply it straight to our cluster here. I'm going to check to make sure I have access to my cluster. And I do, as you can see. And then I'm just going to apply that. OK. All right. So we should have access to the cluster right now. Um, how you can tell if it's running run the cube proxy uh, and we will try to access it on this URL okay so great uh, first time you log on you wouldn't be able to log in because the newer versions of Kubernetes moving forward has our back enabled that's role based access control enabled by default so we need to create a special service account which we will get the token from to be able to access um, uh, our Kubernetes dashboard and I'm just gonna get back to that dashboard page the first thing first I'm gonna do is we're gonna create an admin account so, um, at just go to my gist. Uh, you can always view the raw file. Um, essentially, what this is going to do is going to create a service account on our behalf. We're going to get the cluster role binding, uh, and then we're going to try and grab the token from that service account. All right. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply that. Uh, Apply dash F. Great. Okay, so let's look at the service account. I think it's deployed in the cube system namespace. Great. So what we really need what we really need is the token um, this is quite there's a tutorial okay so we need to get the user token from the secret itself All right so let's get the secrets to describe it right and that's the token okay so this is the token that we need and this is what we're going to use to log on so I'm going to just grab that and I'm just going to go here and say I want to log in via token. I'm going to paste that in. I'm going to sign in. Oh. oh, sorry. <laughs> I forgot to get my proxy running again. <laughs> I was scared for a second. So just refresh, okay, we have access, we paste that in, and voila. So we have access to our workloads, we have access to our nodes, and we have access to almost all the pods 
that are running on our nodes okay but notice that we don't have access to our graphs that will give, give us information on how much CPU compute power and how much processing uh, RAM uh, each of the nodes and each of the pods are located so we need to install something called hipster so let's quickly get on to my gist account and grab uh, the YAML file for hipster influx and Grafana. they all come as a uh, combo and what we're going to do is same as before we're just going to apply that all right This should deploy everything. Okay. Um, let me check if fine. So as you can see, we have hipster deployed, monitoring Grafana is running, monitoring influx deep is running. We may not necessarily need Grafana, but it's something you could always uh, use. Just modify the YAML file, if you don't want to take it out and uh, remove it from the deployment. Alright, so what we're going to do now is start our proxy service again and I'm going to see if I could log on. I think I have to log out or log in again. That's weird. Um, well, I think I have to redeploy. I'm going to redeploy uh, the Kubernetes dashboard just to make sure that it picks that up again. So I'm just going to delete it. I'm going to have it redeployed again. Wait. So, let's see if everything works okay. Ah, there we go. <laughs> I was scared for a second. All right, so as you can see, we have CPU usage, or maybe it was just taking time to get uh, running. But there we have it. And this brings us to the end of this tutorial. This essentially, you've gotten uh, your cube. Uh, Aha, uh -huh. and there we go. So we have all the charts running and everything is looking nice and neat. And you can see how many we saw deployments are effect, full effect, how many pods are in full effect. And thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube page. Uh, if you have any comments, you can leave them. Uh, and I'll always get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching, everyone.